Maybe it's the Carolina Panthers. I was gonna say, like, don't look because we actually have no idea. Panthers, what Panthers? Carolina Panthers. And would you say Florida, Florida Panthers? Panthers? Which is hockey. Whatever, we're leaving all of that in Sports. for the outtake. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Hot For Food. I'm John. I'm Lauren, and today we are making game day food. We're mostly excited about the <laughs> Sports. No, I don't think I'm, well, I'm not excited about sports. Everyone probably realizes that. Mm -hmm. Are you? Uh, I'm ex so excited that I had to Google who was playing in the Super Bowl yes. uh, this week, so. And who is it again? I don't think you remember. The Panthers and the Broncos. Denver versus Carolina. Yes. Anyway, we're mostly excited about the food. Today we're gonna show you how to make a seven layer dip. It's a classic game day dish, but this time it's vegan and it's super easy. Is this something that would be able to fool non-vegans? Oh, this a thousand percent you will serve and no one will know it's vegan. So let's show you how to make it. So the only cooking you're actually gonna do for this is if you wanna make your refried beans from scratch, be my guest, but who really cares because you can buy them in a can or a Tetra Pak and usually the only additional ingredients is a little bit of oil and salt. So when you take the refried beans out of the container, the can or the Tetra Pak, they're gonna look really weird. So put them in a bowl and mash them up to look like you made them. And then we're gonna saute the onion with a little bit of oil and chipotle chili powder, salt and pepper, and then add that into the beans. For the top, we're gonna add a cup of diced yellow pepper and a cup of diced tomato. So the last two top layers are gonna be black olives, which you can buy already sliced, and some chopped green onion on the very top. So we're just using a packaged vegan sour cream, but you can also make our cashew sour cream if you feel uh, adventurous and like doing so. But this is totally awesome and totally gonna work and you're not gonna notice the difference. For the guacamole, you don't have to make it in a food processor, but I'm going to because basically it's gonna get it really smooth and that helps it spread as a layer on top of the sour cream. So you're basically using about two avocados for this. So scoop the two avocados into a bowl or a food processor if that's how you're gonna make it. I'm adding two limes, but if you don't want it as limey, you can use one and a half or one. Okay, you're gonna add one or two garlic cloves, a quarter teaspoon of sea salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. I know you're gonna blend until it's really smooth, and then I'm gonna add chopped cilantro, but you don't have to. It's getting really smooth, just make sure you get all the chunks blended in. Okay, so after you blend the avocado, if that's what you're doing, into guacamole, you can add some cilantro. And I just do this so that this doesn't get all pulverized. You can still see that there's cilantro in there. And of course, this is optional because not everybody loves cilantro, right? So that is how easy it is. We're ready to assemble. Um, you can pre-make this, leave it in the fridge for a day before the party and it'll be fine. Um, or you can just pre-cut your vegetables, pre-do your guacamole and your beans and then assemble it right before the party or just do it the day of because it was really fast. Totally. I think it's one of those things that's kind of better chilled anyway. So yeah. in the fridge, it's, it's kind of good. Uh, this is the size of the dish that we're gonna use depending on how thick you want your layers to be. You could do on a flatter dish where it's thinner layers, but I we're gonna go- I would do it this way, to be honest. We're gonna go thick. It's gonna be beautiful. There's our seven layer dip for game day, everybody. It's maybe too sexy to eat, and we actually do have a party to go to. So we're not gonna eat it, but we've made it before, so we know that it tastes delicious. Let's pretend. Mmm, mmm, the beans and the onions, mmm. So at the end of the video, recipe for our cashew sour cream and our nacho cheese, very good game day favorites. But yeah, that's our, our whole party food playlist on our channel, check it out. It has our pizza, our nachos, our burgers, all those good recipes that you guys like from Hoffer Food. Follow us on Snapchat, we're Hoffer Food. On Twitter and Instagram, we're at Hoffer Food. So you can see what we're eating and doing um, when you're not watching us here on YouTube. Go sports. Go sports! <gasps>